We have been at sea for almost one whole month now, and have sunk a total of two sub chasers. The conditions inside the boat are pretty awful after such a long patrol. This boat is certainly earning the nickname Pig Boat. I do not expect we will be at sea for much longer. S-33 is down to a total of seven Mark 10 torpedoes. Here is hoping we can find a freighter so we can blast up a few more of these fish before returning to Dutch Harbor. As part of S-33's patrol around Attu, we are now positioned south of the island. At 0440, we went down to periscope depth for a routine hydrophone check. At first, nothing was detected. Ten minutes later, however, our hydrophone operator picked up a warship, bearing 132 degrees and closing. Hello everybody, Wolfpack here, and welcome into the command room of S-33 once again. We are currently submerged at periscope depth, it's nice and early in the morning on the 27th, and we have a warship contact. Uh, it is going medium speed and closing, bearing 112. We are currently turning south towards the target. I've plotted her out slightly. It seems like she's on a eastern heading, uh, just slightly off, heading like 092 degrees. So we are going to bump it up to standard and surface the boat in an attempt to get into torpedo firing range here. Looks like she is currently seven-ish nautical miles away from us. Let's actually raise the scope and see if we can actually make her out here. It's probably another sub chaser or something. It certainly seems like there are a lot of those out and about in these waters. Doing a quick scan and yeah, it looks like she is beyond visual range down scope. Okay, well we will man battle stations and begin the chase. Let's see the torpedo situation. We have four in the tubes and three in reserve. So uh, we are starting to certainly run low on torpedoes. That is for sure. Fuel is surprisingly okay. We've been at sea for quite a while and we're only down to 80% fuel, um, which I have to admit is quite surprising, but uh, I'm not going to complain about it. All right, so we have a while to travel here. How far away are we from the track? It looks like six, uh, 6,000 yards. So we will continue to close and try to get into position here. Okay, our watch crew actually has visual of the enemy ship. They say she's at bearing 065, but I have to admit, in this case, I think they have better eyes than me because I do not see anything out there just yet. Let's get an update on that position. These waves are definitely making it difficult and she is 41,000 feet away, according to them. Okay, well that makes things interesting. She's on the map, I don't see her. That makes me think she is probably rather small. It's five o'clock in the morning now. It's still a little dark, but these conditions are only going to get lighter and lighter. You can see uh, the island of Attu off there. It's pretty cool. Let's see here. We may want to try to submerge the boat relatively soon. You can get around this guy's big old head. Yeah, I I am just not seeing it just yet, but like I said, the waves are certainly making it difficult. Let's go to flank speed and try to close this gap a little quicker. Well, we are now within 3,000 yards of the enemy target's predicted track. We're going to close just a little bit more. Let's see if I can actually see her now. Okay, bearing 073. I got nada. Oh, yep, there she is. Okay, pretty hard to see, but I can see her on the horizon now. Yeah, just one ship. Certainly, oh, there's two. There's a second one. Off to the left at 070. And then to the right, there's another ship, which kind of looks larger. Uh, at this angle. Very difficult to tell here. So we have two, possibly two warships. 
Although, we can hope one of them's a freighter. That would be rather swell. Okay. How far are we from their track now, please? Let's see here. Looks like... 2,000 yards. Alright. Down to one-third speed. Submerge the boat down to periscope depth, please. Alright, let's get her under before we are spotted. All right, nice and early in the morning. This should be an exciting attack. Pretty brutal waves as well. So if we are detected, that will help us escape. All right. And down we go. Current depth, four, zero. Well, this is cause for some concern. We just got a hydrophone report that the warship is moving fast, bearing 071. There she is. I got her there. I'm interested in number two as well, wherever she is. It looks like she is in the rear here. And it kind of looks like the targets are heading a bit uh, more north than I originally thought. Let's go ahead and mark this one's position. If she's moving fast, I wonder what she's up to. All right. All right, let's redo this. There we go. Interesting. I wonder if she... Uh, there's no way she saw us. I would have been shocked. Is she zigzagging about, though? No, not as far as I can tell. All right, we will begin plotting her out and try to get her speed down here. Just passing one minute. There's one in the rear. It seems to be just following in a uh, line formation. Nothing too wacky. We, we will obviously go for the ship that is in the lead. Or, I mean, the larger ship, that's what I meant. Not the one that is in the lead necessarily. All right, closing in on three minutes. And mark. Okay. Target speed, please. All right, she is going 10 knots. That seems to be kind of normal for uh, all of these targets. And the course is approximately zero... It, it looks like uh, 086 degrees. Okay, let's drag that out here. Interesting. Let's adjust our course accordingly. Yes, sir. And let's see if we can actually see number two here. Let's shut this off. We will use the uh, TDC speed tool as well and see what my crew says about her speed. Uh, I can't make anything out. Let's bring the boat up just a couple of feet. This is pretty dangerous considering the wave state here. Yes, sir. I don't want our conning tower to broach at all, but yes, sir. I also want to be able to see what the heck is going on out here. Alright, they're both contacts are kind of merged. It looks like one of them has like a lower thumping sound. One's more of a high-pitched uh, squeal. Interesting. So maybe there's something bigger. Maybe the second ship in the line is a bit larger. We can hope. We've been really just torpedoing junk. These little CH-28 uh, subchasers <laughs> has been our, uh, our prey here. Seems like there's just a whole lot of ASW patrols out here, and we haven't found a single merchant ship. Hopefully we start finding some merchants relatively soon. And put that deck under use. We could probably slug it out with one of those little sub chasers, but... Not something I'm uh, too keen on. Alright, we're getting a, a little close here. Just scan. Where is she? Periscope's getting washed over. 
There she is. Come on. Come on, waves. Oh my gosh. I think that's another sub chaser. Possibly? Let's bring up our recognition manual. CH-28 class. Um, no, it is not her. This ship has an actual casing for her turret. Heavy mine layer. No way. No, not. Mine sweeper? No. Definitely small. Patrol boat? One, no, it's a four stacker. Okay, let's go through here. Torpedo boat, sub chaser number 13 class. Six, eight. This one has two gun mounts, or I guess three, considering the one in the bow. Um, maybe. Keep that one in mind. This thing only has one stack, right? As far as I can tell, it only has one. Yeah, it's, it's not going to be any of these larger destroyers. Interesting. Sub chaser number 13. A thousand tons. Bearing. Six. Does that Six. funnel look the same? This is quite difficult. A lot of these just look so similar to me. W19. Okay, let's come up a few more feet. We gotta start. We gotta start working on this. This is intriguing, though. Yeah, it definitely has one mount. Probably pass it Six. quite a few times. Three. I'm going to go with this, Bearing. I think. Six. It doesn't match exactly. Like that turret is just wrong. Let's uh let's identify it as this for right now. Just flip through these. Oh, destroyer escort D class. I can't tell if that's supposed to be a box turret. That structure is the same. It kind of has this mass structure. One. Oh my gosh. Bearing. All right. Six. Zero. Let's go with that. D. Oh no, I'm thinking D class. Bearing. Only seven thousand tons, Five. or seven hundred tons. Excuse me. Draft is ten feet. Yeah, this is difficult for sure. Lots of depth charge throwers. There's a gun back there. The problem is this forward gun is not matching, but uh, we may just have bad information there. Okay, let's uh, we'll we'll have to rock and roll with this. Okay, come on, get our mast height here. Set. Okay. Pop this out. Range is a thousand yards. Reduce speed. Actually, start reversing, please. Angle on bow, 40 degrees to port. Set that in. Let's go. Okay, draft is 10 feet. We will fire quite a few torpedoes here. Uh, we will use contact. Draft set to 5 feet. She's bouncing around, so... Um, less than ideal, for sure. We'll set up three torpedoes. That'll give us a full four in the tubes for the next engagement. Number three, we will have fire offset. The last torpedo, I don't remember. I think it went behind the target. 
There she is. All right, lock on target. All right, give me a new estimate. Set. Okay, range 900 yards. All right, what do you guys think their speed is? Speed 10 knots, beautiful. That's what I got. We will roll with that, make sure that is sent to the TDC. Angle on bow is rapidly improving. 65 degrees to port, set. Open tubes one through three. Bearing three, six. Bearing three, zero. Bearing. Alrighty, folks. I think now is pretty much time to fire. Let's adjust our AOB 80 degrees to port. One more range reading just for just for funsies. Bearing set. Two. They're saying her speed's 8 knots now. We're going to go with 10. Set. All right, Bearing. tube 1. Two. Zero. 800 yards. That's it. All right, fire. Tube 2. Fire. Tube 3, offset angle to the left. One degree. Fire. Down scope. How's that look? Looks pretty good. Range seems all right. All right, increase speed, drop down to, actually, stay here for the time being. Okay, let's get rid of all this. Up scope. All right, time is up. Hit. That's one, two. She's going down. And number three probably missed. It probably went in front of her due to that offset angle. Wow. My goodness. Okay, now it's time to get this boat on the move. All ahead, two thirds, drop down to 120 feet, please. Time to get out of here. That was a pretty good attack. I know some people are probably asking why I would use three torpedoes against just a 1,000 ton little ship. However, uh, shipping just up here is very scarce, so I wanna ensure we actually destroy the targets we attack and see our boat starting to leak. Um, and. That gives us four torpedoes in the tubes. That's all we have. That's the reason I wanted to shoot three instead of four, so we would have all four in the forward tubes. Okay, dropping down nicely. We can reduce speed and try to get below the thermal layer here. There is one, even. Um, we are not being pinged just yet. I'm sure this guy's friend is going to start looking for us. There we go. There's the thermal layer. Let's turn around and start heading north. This enemy target is closing. Oh yeah, she's hauling ass too. Uh oh. This should be interesting. We'll see. We'll see if this ship uh, performs better than the last little sub chaser that tried to engage us.
Well, we have given it some time here, and this little sub chaser is just still searching up here. Um, he didn't even get close. I have a feeling these guys don't have very good listening gear. They seem pretty inept, but we are making our way out of the area at two knots. I did want to also showcase here, I did misidentify the target. Uh, we actually sunk uh, this destroyer escort. Um, let's go here and take a look at that. Destroyer escort. This is what we destroyed. And yeah, that matches the profile a little better with the turrets. 712 tons, so rather similar. But, uh, okay, cool. I should have gone a little further. We have just lots of ships that follow the Rising Sun uh, ads here, so... Okay, cool. Good to know. Well, regardless, we, uh, we sunk her, so that's what really matters. And we are starting to break contact with this little sub chaser. We can probably secure from battle stations now and give my crew a little bit of a break. After around three hours underwater, the coast was finally clear, and the order was given to bring S-33 to the surface. The boat came to the surface through waves that were smooth as glass. It is amazing how quickly the sea state can change up here. S-33 returned to her original course of 120 to patrol the southern approach of Attu. Our SD air search radar has picked something up. Contact coming in fast. Oh boy, we have a radar contact coming in fast. Let's ring up, flank speed, man our battle stations, make sure we have an anti-aircraft gunner on, make sure he knows to fire at will. I'm not sure if the aircraft is in visual range yet. We'll get ready to dive here. If it's, let's see if it's too late. No visual contact, all right. Aircraft is still a ways out there. All right, let's order our crash dive. Okay, aircraft has been spotted. All right, emergency dive. Where is she? Bearing 331. Make her out. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything out there. All right, we're going under quickly. Easy peasy. I already, I thought she was already in visual range, that's why I manned the guns. Okay, drop down to 120 feet. Man, we are going under quick. This thing drops like a brick. Fantastic. Look at this down angle. <laughs> Alright. Now we wait for any depth charges this aircraft may drop on us. All right. Well, oh my gosh. That scared the heck out of me. All right, but we're clear. Reduce speed down to one third. All right. Okay. Oh, um, there we go. That was a little excitement. Got the got the heart racing for a second. Uh, continue on our course. Let's check the hydrophone. See if there's anything out here. Oh, there is. 170. 
That very that is probably that little sub chaser up here. I almost guarantee it. It sounds small. It sounds like the sub chaser. 15 nautical miles out. I am not going to pursue that, honestly. With our last torpedoes, I, I do want to try to find something a bit larger. Although that may be an exercise in futility. Well, folks, that is going to do it for today's episode. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, please be sure to leave a like and comment, as it really does help out the channel. But until next time, this is Wolfpack345 signing off, and I will see you all on the next one.